Carol, Oakland, California, 1944. Yes, I had an older sister. It was enough to put us in different groups. We were, when we got older, when I got older, the little sister. No, we were pretty close. When I was born, my dad was in the Navy, World War II, end of World War II. So I was born in Oak Knoll Naval Hospital. And then he got out of the service. He went to work for industrial paint companies. And so he transferred down to Southern California. In fact, we lived in Whittier. She was delightful and caring, but not overbearing. Would listen to sides of stories, especially between my sister and I when we were growing up. To be fair, I went all through school in Whittier. I went on to Long Beach State and I got my credential through them. And I was first hired by a Long Beach district because I was working there and they offered me a job. And I student taught in the fall. I wanted to graduate in four years, so I did, but then I couldn't get in student teaching in that. He was a friend of my brother-in-law and he would come over with my brother-in-law to visit my sister and we met that way. We didn't start dating at all because I was still in high school. That came about probably he came over one time and later on and one thing led to another and we started dating. About a year all together. Donald and then got married and we moved to, well it was actually Stanton, but it's a smaller version of Garden Grove. And we stayed in that same house the whole time. We bought it big enough. It was a four bedroom. We thought we were going to have children but it never happened. We just stayed there, paid it off, did the whole routine. So when I just sold it, I made quite a bit because when we bought it, it was 32 5 and we thought that was so expensive at that time. And then I sold it for a whole lot more. So that was nice. Oh, just about everything. No, he was fairly easy to live with. We both liked golf, so that became one of our main entertainments. We had a lot of similarities and likes and dislikes. I did it before because my parents played golf and they belonged to a country club anyway. And then Don picked it up or we started inviting him and he really liked it. So he ended up pretty good. I didn't, but he did. No, I was teaching elementary. Yes, I did for about 12 years. That summer that I went to work for Garden Grove School District and was in sixth grade again. After about 12 years, I wanted to do something different. I put in for a transfer and got a junior high. And then I had just six periods a day. But I taught a couple of rudimentary math classes because that's where I came from. And then keyboarding. Well, it was first called typing and then it was called keyboarding. So I went through the eras of that. No, I enjoyed them both. It was the only thing I ever did. I never worked a, a summer job. I was very fortunate in that I had parents who took care of me. That was the only job I ever had. I just enjoyed doing it. It came kind of natural to me, although I never did anything in teaching before I student taught. I went to Europe with my mom and my sister five different times, so we covered different sections, and that was wonderful. Don and I, our favorite destination was Hawaii. Of course, who would hate Hawaii? Really liked Kauai, so we went there quite often. Play golf, you know, went sightseeing and enjoyed the weather and all that. That was the fun of it. We always went to someplace new and got on a tour that we're you know, it hit maybe two or three countries or at least two or three big cities. Yes, it was the Navy. I think private because he got out as soon as he could. But we weren't married at the time, so that was nice. That was all done by the time we got married. Well, so much is done. Housekeeping, food, but there's lots to do. Oh, well, they're very nice. I think most of them just do a really great job and particularly the ones in the dining rooms and they do a very good job with it and why pay insurance and upkeep and all that on a house so I sold it. I also like to be closer to my niece. The other one lives in Bellflower so I see them periodically. Although she just opened up a quilt store. She's a quilter. Had classes and did all that sort of stuff so now she's doing it out of her quilt store. I have one of her quilts. It's very nice. Cindy. Mm -hmm. As close as we can be. You know I know it's probably hard to be around me because it reminds them of their mother. That was very hard on all of us to lose her and my husband. She passed away first and then six months later he did. She gave me a picture frame thing. It says chance made us sisters but love made us friends. I treasure that a lot. I miss her a lot.